since I'm sticking with my current truck, I decided that I'm going to invest pretty heavily into it. The new water pump, thermostats, shock, rear rotors, calipers, axle seals, none of that was really necessary. I just want to proactively work on it so that I have more scheduled downtime and not unscheduled downtime. Thinking when the weather cools down, it gets a little slower, I'm probably going to pull the engine and completely rebuild it. I wonder if I reached out if anyone would be interested in working with me on some of these videos. The first people I thought of were the ones that I've gotten a crap ton of useful information from, uh, DuramaxTuner.com. They have a YouTube channel and I have learned so much from them. This is my first diesel truck. So I reached out to them and they were very receptive. So I'm going to be doing some videos working with uh, DuramaxTuner.com. Told them kind of what I'm interested in doing and if they're wanting to do something as long as it's not hurting reliability and usefulness of the truck, I'm very receptive. First product is the Spade Jack from DuramaxTuner.com. Not something critical or it needs to be done to my truck, but I mean, what was I going to say? No. And they have a lot of uh, just awesome transmission rebuild kits and they rebuild transmissions. They have a shop in Chicago. You can go there or have your truck sent there and they can do the work for you. Don't grow in a chassis. So what is the Jack Spade? It's a software flasher basically. Overrides the software that's in your truck so that it runs differently. Five different run profiles you can choose from. That's what this is, a selector switch. It off my stock here at uh, stock horsepower. Then at your heavy tow, you have 20 horsepower, light tow, 40 horsepower. Two high ends are 80 horsepower and 100 horsepower. But 100 horsepower mode, you know, even says in there, it can damage a stock transmission. So I'll probably run it in this video just to show, but I won't be using it. Again, I need reliability. I don't need a powerhouse. My truck is a tool. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull the truck in and get to it. So it comes with. Pretty clear instructions, but in case you're more of a visual person, on their YouTube channel they actually have videos. Optimized computer. Also that comes in the box is the DSP-5 switch. So that's so pretty I'm sweet. Switch between the they can just the show you how to install it. Something I didn't think to mention, they actually take into account different parameters of your truck. So things like your tire size or any aftermarket accessories. They take that into account when they're doing pretty much custom programming for your truck. And you can data log with this, send them back the data, and they can go over it and tune it even more. Send it back to you, you put it on here, you put it in your truck, and now you have more refined tunes. So step one, ignition to run. Plug in spade. Go to tuning tool, hit okay. Program full, okay. All right, hit okay. Alright, license ECU, hit OK, yes. Are you sure? Yes. And it's now flashing. That's done flashing, so I turn my ignition off, hit OK. And after this, you can start your truck. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the switch installed. First thing I need to do, remove the ECM. Now it says, locate the hood release grommet in the firewall. Alright, so, it's it right there. And then pull the grommet out, stick in your feeder wire, and find it under the dash. I love TIG wire for stuff like this. It works so great. And there it is next to the parking brake that doesn't work. I'm going to use the guide wire to pull through the five position switch wire. To do this, it helps if you're not a dumbass that doesn't know the difference between the TCU and the ECU, or TCM and whatever. 
and in the instruction it says do not remove the TCU or TCM yeah so I took out the wrong one alright so that's the one we need not <coughs> fuck's sake come on God damn. Thank you. All right, now locate the gray connector on the ECM harness and make sure it is in the open position. Make sure it's in the open position. I'm assuming that's closed. The small flathead screwdriver. Remove the top black cover, wedging the two tabs out of their place. And I did the wrong fucking one. Attention to detail, Corey. Jesus Christ. That's a freaking train wreck waiting to happen. Alright, it's removed. We'll locate the pinholes, number 32 and number 50. 50's black. Uh, 28, 42, 56. 15, 29, 1. 43, 56, 42, 28. This is the gray one, right? Yeah. 45, 44, 43. Yeah, that seems to be how it goes. Okay. So there's 14 per, so that's 56. So we 30, 31, 32. There's 32. All right. Just got to use a little bit of problem solving. Remove the teal colored slide that locks the pins in place. After this is removed, be very careful not to pull. Black and 50, purple and 32. Get all up in here. See me fuck something up. I push through the other side, or do I have to pull that out? Need smaller needle nose. Alright, give me a uh, razor blade. Hey! Mmm! God damn it. the smartest thing to be doing with an exacto knife in your wires, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Please, please just go back in and hope I didn't pull any. Pretty freaking good. It's not 10 50 or even more Jesus, but it's good stout. Reinsert the teal pin lock. Check. Reconnect the back cover to the ECM harness. Alright, time to find out if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight or not. Be able to tap this and it will blink the number of times with the corresponding settings. Well, I mean, my truck runs at least. <laughs> so there's that. What? Well, my truck runs, so I'm going to get back to this tomorrow after work. It's the next day. Got home from work a little while ago. Let the truck cool off. Should be good to go now. But this morning, after meeting the guys at the lot and pulling out into traffic, I got out a little bit because traffic was moving and immediately was like, oh, oh, the tunes took. So I'm guessing it's in optimized stock right now. Even there, it was noticeably different and pretty impressive. And I did some reading last night. So the conclusion I came to is more than likely, I just screwed up putting the wires into the wire harness. I didn't, I don't have them in seated far enough, so they don't have a connection. 
apparently it's a pretty common problem. Dermax Tuner, they have dedicated support staff, so if you're having problems, you can just give them a call and they'll help you out. I wasn't about to because I've been in this position before and usually if I call customer support, I just feel really dumb afterwards because it's something I screwed up and usually something simple. Let's get back to it. Oh well, yeah, I felt that going further. I wasn't even close. All right, well, learn from my mistakes. Neither one of them was seated right. Turn the key to run. And when we switch on the back, we should get an LED. <gasps> Beautiful. Very nice. So if you follow instructions and aren't an idiot like someone I know, things actually work. Let's go for a quick ride and make sure everything works. So this is performance. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I I did not drive this. It's been a few days since I did the install now, and I haven't really had time to edit all that video. So I figure I'll go ahead and include in this video hooking it up for data logging. So that's what I'm about to do. All right, so I got it all hooked up. Minimize and now, so I have a reference point as I'm screen capturing as well. Right, let's go for a little drive, yeah? is you can have the uh, all the data in different layouts all right I can stop recording screen what you were supposed to be recording Fuck. Are you serious what you were supposed to be recording it wasn't recording I was supposed to be capturing the screen the whole time so you could see it fucking computer well, I got plenty of battery, I guess uh, maybe I'll just go do another drive. Alright, so I'm gonna go back out and hopefully it doesn't fuck up this time. Since I've already done all this and I have a log file for the... This is just gonna be for the video I'm making and I'm just gonna do two passes. Just one in the first setting up in my stock and one in the fifth setting, the high performance. much better. Now I was trying to show earlier you can set up the gauges and everything in quite a few different ways however you prefer it. I didn't really play around with it too terribly much. I probably will in the future. So now I can send this data off to them and they can I'm not looking for them to like tweak my truck really I'm just at least maybe giving an idea of what I need to do. I mean I know things I need to do but anyway yeah you get it. Have a good one humans.